What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make a one stop sign clicked block in Scratch. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to go and create a new project. And I'm going to call this project stop sign clicked block. Okay. So first I'm going to create a simple thumbnail and you can make a thumbnail anything you want. But I am going to just make a black rectangle as my thumbnail. Okay, so I'm going to name this thumbnail. Okay, so I'm first going to center this in the middle. So I'm going to show you two methods to do this. The first method is to make the thumbnail show when the stop sign is clicked and the second method is to make the thumbnail move or do any sort of effect when the thumb when the stop sign is clicked. So I'm going to drag a green flag and I'm going to first set everything up. So go to zero zero um, switch costume to backdrop one go to front layer and i'm going to drag a show and I'm, I'm going to go to control and drag forever loop and i'm going to go back to looks and drag a set color effect to block and change this to ghost and make this 100. so right now you can't see anything but actually it's still showing that's because the Ghost effect makes it invisible, but it's still there, but you just can't see it. Okay, so, but the cool thing about this is that when you click the stop sign, it shows. So if you have a thumbnail and then you click, and if you run this code and then you click the stop sign, it will show. That's because the stop sign clears all the effects like the ghost effect. It's similar to this block here that says clear graphic effects. So, that's how you can make your thumbnail show when the stop sign is clicked. So, I'm going to show you the second method. In the second method, you will need to create a variable. So, I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to call this timer. Make sure this is for all sprites. So, you can trash all of this. And I'm going to set timer to 0. And I'm going to go to sensing and drag the reset timer block. And then I'm going to go to control and drag a forever loop. And I'm going to set timer to the timer, the timer, the actual timer, plus, um, plus one second. So, well, um, so the timer. So the t the timer variable is always ahead of the actual timer. So I'm going to show the actual timer. So if so as you can see this is always 1 second ahead of the actual timer. So when you click the stop sign the timer the actual timer catches up to the timer variable because now the um, this code doesn't run anymore, but the timer does not stop when the stop sign is clicked. So I'm going to drag a when loudness is greater than 10 block and change this to when timer is greater than the timer variable. Then you can like make some cool effects and stuff. So I'm going to make this go to the center. And then, when 
the timer is greater than the timer variable, then I'm going to make it, um, make it, let's say, set the color effect to 50. You can uh, make this anything you want, actually. So, normal, and then stop. And it's going to set the color effect to 50, but it's not setting to it, so I'm going to make another costume, and I'm going to switch to costume 1. Okay, so now, click stop sign, it gone. Click stop sign, it switches to the costume. So you can actually add some cool effects. You can check out my smooth glide tutorial, links in the description. And you can make it glide and stuff. Or you can change the ghost effect or any other effect. But make sure this is all under the when timer is greater than timer the timer variable event over here. But anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.